Well, it's hard to believe it's been 10 years almost since the Snowmageddon 2014. Sunday marks the anniversary of Snowmageddon when we had a surprise snow event and we had icy roads, probably one of the biggest civil disasters, one of the top ranking ones we've dealt with around here. Everybody leaving for the day and all of a sudden roads start icing over. Everybody trapped on roads out in the sub freezing temperatures. Uh, this was actually a clip from that day and this is the old Viper system uh, that's been discontinued. We tracked a lot of storms with that system. Now we have first alert AccuTrack, but that's what the radar looked like that day and you can see at Birmingham at lunchtime it was 19 degrees and that's one of the things is around here a lot of times when we're dealing with winter weather and dealing with snow often it's right there 32 31 degrees. Sometimes it's not cold enough for snow. Sometimes uh, we don't have enough moisture and, and what happens a lot of times around here is when it's really, really cold. A lot of the moisture just doesn't reach the ground when it's so cold and dry. So we end up in many cases where you see snow on the radar, but it doesn't reach the surface. And that was the thought process that day. We were confident that there was going to be winter weather down into South Alabama on that day. But what ended up happening is we saw the system. It developed further north. And while the precipitation rates from the snow, it wasn't like blizzard conditions, but it was just enough snow as the cars drove over the snowy surfaces there on the roadways. We had some partial melting, which it all just turned into a sheet of ice. Those roads uh, temperatures below freezing and you know, it's, it's one of the reminders that when you're dealing with temperatures in the teens, any precipitation can cause some big problems as we saw uh, just last week with all the ice that developed across parts of our area. But uh, we certainly learned a lot of lessons from that day and it has certainly helped to improve our forecasting as we monitor winter weather events. But Snowmageddon 20 2014. You can certainly follow us all on social media, share your stories, and we'll be talking more about the long range forecast and what's on the way coming up as we go beyond the seven day forecast.